just eight months into the year and endless disasters have taken place, COVID-19 being on the top of the list. Millions of people lost their lives to the pandemic and the world faced a global lockdown leading to an economic downfall and whatnot. With multiple deaths around the globe, biological wars and explosions in different countries, the world has almost witnessed an apocalypse. Looks like this is the exact year our ancestors have been warning us about for ages. From the Australian bushfire to the ice turning green in Antarctica, let's check out some of the disasters that took place this year so far. Number 10. The Australian Bushfire Although this incident started back in 2019, it continued to be a major part of 2020. Australia normally faces forest fires due to extremely high temperatures and changing global temperature, but they have never seen one as wild as this one. This specific bushfire continued for almost a year, from June 2019 to May 2020. Famously known as the Black Summer, the Australian bushfire managed to burn down about 18.6 million hectares of land, while it destroyed about 5,900 buildings. About 34 people lost their lives to the never-ending fire, while nearly 3 billion species of terrestrial vertebrates, most of which were reptiles, have been affected to the extent that some endangered species may be driven to extinction. Number 9. Volcano Eruption in the Philippines To make this year even more memorable, the world had to witness the second most active volcano in the Philippines erupting after more than four decades. The Taal Volcano has a record of a total of 34 historical eruptions, all of which were concentrated on Volcano Island. However, this year on the 12th of January, it started rumbling followed by an eruption and sprayed ash dust over a distance as far as 100 kilometers away. Ash falls and volcanic thunderstorms were reported and forced evacuations of about 300,000 people were made instantly. About 6,000 people lost their lives in the eruption, while the volcano spewed ashes all the way to the Calabazon, Metro Manila, some parts of central Luzon, and Pangasinan. On February the 13th, the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council and the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology reported a total of 2,484 volcanic tectonic earthquakes in the vicinity of the volcano, 176 of which were felt. The Philippines is still recovering from the volcanic eruption, with several countries sending in domestic aid. Number 8. Earthquakes everywhere Talking about the strong movements in the tectonic plates and rising temperatures in the core of the Earth, the earthquakes this year have not caused any less destruction. So far, there have been 45 earthquakes characterized over six magnitudes, while Jamaica and Russia received the worst hit, with earthquakes over magnitude 7. The earthquake that hit Turkey on January the 24th is said to be the deadliest, as it claimed the loss of 41 lives after an earthquake of 6.7 magnitudes. Following Turkey, we have Mexico, Oaxaca, Iran, and Western Azerbaijan on the list, with a total of 10 deaths in each area. While Mexico and Oaxaca got hit by an earthquake of 7.4 magnitude, Iran and Western Azerbaijan received a shock of 5.8 magnitude, and both recorded loss of human lives. Other than these, earthquakes with a larger magnitude hit areas like the Caribbean on the 28th of January 2020 with a magnitude of 7.7, .7, Alaska on the 22nd of July 2020 with a magnitude of 7.8, and Russia on the 13th of February 2020 with a magnitude of 7, along with many other hits in various places, causing a lot of damage in most of the places. At number 7 we have Cyclone Amphan in India and Bangladesh. Cyclone Amphan created panic in West Bengal and Odisha in May, leaving behind trails of devastation. The meteorological department labelled the cyclone as a highly intense cyclone storm, as it caused landslides on a large scale in both states, along with heavy rainfall, gust windows and lightning, damaging everything that got in its way, leaving chilling visuals all over. The super cyclone reportedly killed 12 people in Bengal, while power supply and telephone network failure also hit the country, just adding to the number of problems people were already facing. At number 6 we have forest fires in Uttarakhand, India. Forest fires are one of the most dangerous incidents as getting hold of them can be quite a task. Just like the Australian bushfire, India experienced a devastating forest fire in Uttarakhand for four whole days with over 46 bushfires. As a result of the increase in temperature due to global warming, the world has been witnessing extreme forest fires. Reportedly, only two people lost their lives in the fire, but a lot of people lost their property and everything they had. A report of the Times of India has stated that Uttarakhand has lost nearly 51.43 hectares of forest cover, and the forest department alone has incurred a loss of over 1 lakh. Number 5. Floods in Assam, India 
Climate change causes extreme weather, like extremely hot or extremely cold temperatures, or putting different areas in either drought or heavy rainfall, leading to a flood. The same is the case in India, due to heavy rains in many parts of Assam, the Efhan. According to reports, over 30,000 people in 5 out of 33 districts are affected by the flood. A total of 128 villages in eight revenue circles of Lakhimpur, Dibrugar, Darang, and Golpara districts were affected, according to the reports from Assam State Disaster Management Authority. Crops and domestic animals have also been affected by this, making lives more difficult for the natives. Number 4. Locust Swarms in East Africa and parts of India and Asia Millions of desert locusts have made their way into different parts of the world which are not a threat to human life. Well, at least not directly. According to the report, this could be one of the worst pest attacks in over 26 years. To give a better idea of the swarm, desert locusts are considered to be the most catastrophic migratory pests globally. And just a one square kilometer swarm in one day can eat as much food as 35,000 people. Not only are these insects quick breeders, but their small size can accommodate as many as 150 million locusts in just one square kilometer. The sudden increase in locusts has been a result of extreme climate change. The increase in temperature provides an optimum condition for the breeding and swarming of locusts. Unusually heavy rains and increased temperatures from 2019 may most likely be the cause of this attack. At number 3 we have the Mauritius Indian Ocean Oil Spill. Well, this one is not exactly a natural disaster, but oil spills are one of the major environmental concerns that pose a huge threat not only to marine life but human life indirectly as well. A Japanese ship named MV Wakashio, which was carrying an estimated 4,000 tons of oil, struck a coral reef that resulted in an oil spill of over 1,000 tons into the Indian Ocean, drenching water birds and reptiles in oil. Since the incident took place on a large scale, a state of emergency was declared and teams were sent to clear up the mess instantly. For the penultimate number two, we have the snow in Antarctica turning green. Thinking of Antarctica, the first thing that comes to our minds is probably a wide space covered in a blanket of white snow topped with lazy seals and happy penguins. However, as the climates have been changing over time due to global warming, the white spot of the world is not so white anymore. Parts of the frozen continent are turning green as patches of massive algal blooms are producing over the snow. There is a scientific explanation for that. According to new research published in the journal Nature Communications, the rising temperatures around the globe are causing the snow to melt on a large scale. This condition provides the optimum temperatures for the formation of algal blooms that are known for rapidly increasing in the population of algae. These algal blooms are spreading over the area at a high rate, thus turning many areas green. The phenomenon is becoming so obvious that the white patch of Earth, Antarctica, can be seen turning green even from space. And at number one, we have the Beirut explosion. While natural disasters have been a great part of destruction caused only in 2020 so far, man-made issues are not any less. The most recent incident, the explosion in Beirut, has caused thousands of people to lose everything they had. From property to family members, it had devastating effects on the public and the government. While the world is going through a global crisis, war is the last thing anyone would ever want. A total of two explosions took place on the port of Beirut on the 4th of August 2020, while the second explosion was bigger than the first, causing at least 185 deaths, 6,000 injuries, and 10 to $15 billion in property damage, leaving an estimated 300,000 people homeless. 